Would you like a strawberry? A strawberry. Oh, yes. Eat it. Oh, yeah. I can make me do that, like, that belly laugh. Ew! I'm gonna, I'm gonna really throw up.
essentially you just pretty much watch Kristen Wiggs' terrible car wreck of a life. And unraveling. You unraveling. You can't help but look at how like crazy her life is and then watch her navigate through that and see where she ends up at the end. Um, overall, this movie was just a great watch. It's so funny. I, I, I just loved it. So what drink are we making today? Oh, I don't know. I mean, maybe in honor. I mean, made of honor. Oh. <laughs> I know what you're there. Of bridesmaids, we're gonna be doing a drink that was featured in the movie, pink lemonade. Mmm, now that's fresh. But we're gonna be doing a bit of a spin on it, and it's gonna be a vodka strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Yeah. Fresh muddled strawberries, fresh squeezed lemon oh, juice. Oh, muddled that strawberry. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's gonna be delicious and refreshing. Maybe churn that strawberry? Churning. There's a colonial woman on the plane in traditional garb and she's churning butter. All right. <laughs> Let's head to the bar. Oh, hey. Oh, hey.
just about three or so. This is gonna chill it, this is gonna break it all down. Shake it. Oh God. Shake it. Shake it like a, shake it, shake it. Take a strainer, because again, you're gonna have a lot of chunks and a lot of fun stuff going on in there. Ooh. And get some more ice up in there. We added some more ice to that, add a little carbonation. Again, any kind of soda water, we're gonna go with a lemon liquid, add to the lemon aspect of what we're doing here. Boom diggity. We're gonna be fancy. A little strawberries, strawberries, strawberries garnishes. Oh. Um, strawberry lemonade. Ooh, this one is trying to, to tip over like the cane. Trying to get away, just trying to get away. <laughs> strawberry lemonade for the adults. All right. Try it out. Okay, I'm about to taste it. We have a metal straw, you know. We care. Our environmental. We care about the environment. No, oh, that's good. No, that's really good. Uh, strawberry lemonade. All fresh squeezed lemons, muddled strawberries, a little bit of sweetener, your favorite vodka. Shake it up, strain it out. Another pro tip, if there's some fun stuff still left in your bin, take your soda water, take a spoon, scoop out the ice, take a, another soda water, you kind of like swirl it around, rinse it, and just pour the rest into your glass. Nothing goes down the sink. All right, let's talk about some bridesmaids. Yeah! Maids of bride. All right, so now this is a banger for you. Uh -huh. What is your favorite scene, even with the repeat viewings? I feel like the repeat viewing was a slight dig, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. on a lot, it's on a lot. Well, it's good. Okay, so my favorite scene in the movie, uh, Chris Wig just kind of prefaces it. She takes them to this <laughs> lunch spot that's in a really seedy, sketchy place of town, and it's like this Brazilian restaurant, and. Helen, who is her nemesis, kind of like throwing shade at her because the place is so like janky, but then everyone's like, oh, this is so good. And then Helen's not eating anything because she's like, no thanks, I'll just have to solve it. And so then after the lunch, they go to their bridesmaid thing. They're all trying on these dresses. They're all trying, like they all have to pick one, see who's gonna invoke and see which one they wanna pick. But then they start all sweating in these really expensive and by the way the whole room is like white yeah. like white white carpet white couch everything is white in this this uh store so they're all like standing in line with their pick of a bridesmaid dress for everyone to vote on and then they just start all start sweating profusely like lit, like pouring down you sweat hear the of their and yeah stomach. a lot of sound effects oh. like oh yes Disgusted. Long story short, they have food poisoning from Chris Wigg's Brazilian restaurant that she had taken them to. Except for Helen, because Helen didn't eat it. She had a salad. So they all start like throwing up, pooping in the toilet, throwing up on each other's heads. Maya Rudolph like runs in the middle of the street in this big, expensive couture wedding dress and like literally takes a shit in the middle of the street. And Chris Wigg's trying, and she has food poisoning too. She's trying to keep it together because she knows she's the one who like her fault why everyone has food poisoning. Everyone's struggling. Everyone's and struggling. she's like trying to keep together acting like she's like not sick. She's like sweat is like dripping down off of her nose. She is dying. And uh Rose Burns character Helen. Helen. Um she's like, oh I think you would feel better if you threw up and she's just like trying to not let Helen have this win. She's like, you know what? Fine, I'm actually hungry. And it's just one of the many reasons why this movie is so funny because it's like really like Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, what's the movie? Sorry, it's all about me. It's okay. Good conversation. Sorry. <laughs> You're like, he was like waiting, like, you can ask me. I was me. just waiting to see what's up. Were you going to ask me what my favorite, favorite scene was? I was completely uninterested. Sorry. So, Sean, what was your 
<laughs> I'm listening. What was your favorite scene? My favorite scene is there's a lot of goodies, but I think it's got to be the airplane when they're on the airplane. They're heading I to, was uh, gonna pick that one too. I mean that's 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 like the tour de force. Okay, that was my favorite scene too. Tour de force scene because it sets people up to be like crazy. Uh, they're flying to like the bachelorette trip, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. and then Kristen Wiig can't. She has a fear of flying. Mm -hmm. The lady next to her is not helping at all. She's like, <laughs> I had a dream that we're going down. You were in it. Hey, Helen's sabotaging her. She gives her like a pill to like go to bed, and she's still freaking out. So she's like, sip on some of my scotch. Just have it. And she downs that, and everyone's kind of going through the room. Uh, the other two ladies are talking about sex and like what it's like to be married. And, yeah. You know, one lady, she just, she's her only person she's ever slept with is her husband. They're connecting. Uh, Melissa McCarthy's doing a bit with a guy with a, who, are, who is actually her husband. husband. Yeah. Fun fact in the movie. And she's like, So you're Air Marshal, right? He's like, No, no, I'm not. This time it got me. I never like heard it before, but she kept talking about like where you keep it. Like she's just saying, like, she, you keep your gun in your butt. And he, he just goes, No, <laughs> I don't keep a gun. In, in my, my butt. butt. <laughs> so everyone's doing their own bit, and Kristen Wiig, everything hits her, and that's like the whole, we are ready to party! What are you, what are you, what are you an appliance? What kind of name is, what kind of name is Stowe? Yeah, she's got a great bit with the other flight attendant guy, and he's keeping it dry, and she's doing a bit. Yeah. <laughs> miss, uh, miss, you can't be here. You can't be here, miss. Um, um. Be here, miss. This is, this is only first class. Um, it's, it's not me, it's a... It's um, it's a Iglesias. No, it's it's you. You just you're just wearing sunglasses. Oh. Yeah. You're just wearing sunglasses now. Oh, help me! I'm poor. <laughs> so now it's time for my favorite part of the video: pop quiz. Pop quiz. Pop quiz. No idea. A female deer. Ray. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, driving oh, on oh, about bridesmaids, making sure that he was actually paying attention to my pick. He's like, oh, it's my pick, I want him to pay attention, right? Gotta quiz him. So, we need you to pick a side, pick a team. Are you gonna be team Shawnigans? Or are you gonna be team Pia Monsters? So when we drink, you drink. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna start with a, a warm up question. All right, are you warmed up? Did you stretch? Did you stretch your mind? All right. Who performed at Maya Rudolph's wedding? Steely Dan. Is that your answer? I hope so. What was that? Steely Dan. No, that's not it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna get that. That's why it was my warm-up question. Oh, I don't know. Who is it? No! Oh my god! I, I literally asked that because I thought he would for sure get it. I don't even know who Steely Dan is. I don't know what that is either. Who oh, is that? I don't, there's three women. Yeah, okay, so Indigo wrong. Indigo girls? <laughs> drink, drink. Who okay. is it? Okay, okay, while you get your drink, I'll let you know. So the answer is uh, Wilson Phillips. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't know. That, I didn't know. A, I really believed you were going to get that. I don't know. That. I was very confident about Silly Dan, and I also don't know who Silly Dan really is. Okay. So I actually, um. Oh, I've never done a oh, shot of vodka. Oh, you didn't even take it yet? Hurry up. I've never done a shot of vodka. It's always like it's whiskey, like Jameson, or oh, you, tequila. It's not when vodka. I was in college, that's all we did was shots of vodka, specifically oh. Smirnoff Limon. I can't even to this day smell Smirnoff Lemon, or I will throw up. Um, okay, so question two. Kristen Wiig's mother likes to paint caricatures, like, you know, like you would at a fair, like, like where it's like a cartoon-ish version of yourself. So her mom likes to paint those in the movie, and she's painting Winona uh, Judd. Okay. Is that me? I don't know. Winona I Judd. Thought that was gonna be the question. Yeah, yeah. Winona Judd. All right. That's not the question. All right. Maybe I should have made that the question. I know. I Damn. Um. Oh, what did she say is was a pain in her ass to paint on Winona Judd? The teeth. The teeth. No. I'm very confident too. I'm like right out of my like, that's the teeth. No? Um, the mouth? Teeth? 
Okay. It so, okay, stop. Uh, okay, it was technically the answer is for bangs, but I I'm going to take the sh I'm going to say that we both take a shot on this one only because she did mention her She does teeth. say like those teeth are so tough or something. Yeah, she does. She did and she said her teeth were also she said I should have painted her mouth shut. Um, but she okay. she said uh so I will oh, let's take a shot on both of that because technically I was looking for bangs because that's really what she says to that and then she follows it up with the teeth. So we'll take both take a shot for that. She's fair. I am fair. I, I don't cheat. Look me in the eye. <laughs> I'm happy. Look me in my eyebrow. Russian station. Vodka. Hey, vodka. I don't. I weird. really. It's a weird shot. I don't take shots of vodka anymore because no one does. What are you? In Moscow. Asking. Anyway, wait, wait, wait. Puking? Riding a horse? Um. Got a shirt. Okay, so question three. Mm -hmm. How many dogs did Melissa McCarthy's character take from the bridal shower? Nine. Damn. I mean, boom. I can see that. I've seen the movie a lot. Okay. So I feel very confident in the play. Double, double or nothing. I had, no. I had, I had a bonus. No, no, I had, no, no, no. No. I had, no. I, I had it written on the card. No. I have a bonus question. But so, double or nothing. Yeah, so if you get the bonus question right, then you still then you have, your point is a raise. Right through the shot. Hold on. This is just an additional question. Fine. No, I'm saying no, because I still have an I technically have to take a shot. Yeah. So if you choose to answer, if you get this bonus question wrong, then you have to take a shot. So if you get it right, then I have to take two more shots. No. <laughs> okay, fine. Just bonus question. Yeah. Fine. You're so not. Fine. Bonus There's question. One. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. Bonus question. How many, how many um, dogs would Melissa McCarthy be comfortable having? Six. That's acceptable. It's like five. She's five or six. Yeah. Kept out of six. Yeah. Cap, yeah, she did cap out of six. Drink everything. I'm not drinking all of that. Double. Drinking. Literally, you said double you or nothing. You said but then you said no. You lost twice either way. No, I didn't lose twice because that was just a fun question at the end. You decided not to take me up on that challenge, so I only take one. That's not how that works. Oh my god. Do not throw that. Do not throw this on. Do not throw it. Alright. I'm definitely only taking one. I'll take one. Okay. Team players. Compromise. That's a relationship. Heard, heard of it? Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our fun content and share with your family and friends because I know they want to see these movies too. They want to have a little cocktail. Learn how to make a cocktail. Right? What you're watching on the Netflix. Mom wants to know the how to make the strawberry vodka lemonade, okay? It's going to be, it's a nice little disguise drink for the, uh, the daytime. Yeah. Too. Okay, and if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave it down leave in them. the comment section below. We'll be there, you know, lurking like the trolls that we are. Like, ooh, comment, commenter. You know, we'll be there. And thank you to all the people that are still out there working, making our lives, being able to be as comfortable as possible during this time. We really appreciate all of your work and effort and you literally putting your lives at risk to help all of the world. You are appreciated, so thank you. Thanks, guys. So just to let you know, uh, all of the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. This movie, Bridesmaids, is available on HBO and Hulu technically, but you would have to have an ad on HBO subscription, so really, is available on HBO. Uh, my next pick, my next pick. Yeah, what is your next pick? My next little movie watching adventure. Um, okay. Check out this movie. I love me some Colin Farrell and I love me some Nicole Kidman. Mm -hmm. There's something weird and crazy going on. They're both cool. The they're both, they're both well, I have accents, they're foreign. They, are, they both do have accents. Is it a foreign film? No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's called The Sacred Killing of a Deer. I think it's going to get weird. That's not very interesting. It's going to be dark. I might have to do something herbal to get through that, but we shall see. I'm open to it. I'm open. And as always, we'll pair, we'll pair a drink with it. I don't know what that will be yet. We're going to watch the movie. I'm getting
inspired. Yeah. All right. First time viewing of it, so. Yeah. Let's we'll see what it's like. So we will see you next time with Sean's pick, and thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye. bye. Did the whole compromise relationship thing. Mm.